This video will show you what to do if your iPhone SE 2 power down and would no longer turn on after the iOS 14 update. Shortly after the rollout of the iOS 14, some iPhone SE 2 owners reported that their devices powered down and won't turn on or respond anymore. It is a possible firmware issue, and if you're one of the people bugged by this problem, here's what you need to do. First solution, perform the forced restart. As long as your iPhone doesn't have any signs of physical or liquid damage, then the problem can be due to a pretty minor firmware issue. More often than not, this issue is due to a firmware crash and what you need to do is the forced restart. To do so, quickly press and release the volume up button, and then the volume down button. Immediately after that, press and hold the power key for 10 seconds. This will force the phone to boot up. When the Apple logo shows, release the power key and wait until your iPhone finishes the reboot. In most cases, this procedure will fix the problem. So if you're able to make the logo show on the screen, that's a sign that the problem is fixed. However, if your iPhone remains to be unresponsive and still stuck on a black screen, what you need to do next is charge it and do the forced restart while it's connected to the charger. Here's how. Plug the charger to a working wall outlet and connect your iPhone to it using the original cable. Regardless of whether the iPhone shows the charging sign or not, Leave it connected to the charger for at least 10 minutes. After that, do the forced restart again while the iPhone is still connected to the charger. If this isn't a hardware issue, then your iPhone should already be booting up by now. If not, then set up an appointment at the Genius Bar. I hope that this simple troubleshooting guide has been able to help you one way or the other. Please support us by subscribing to our channel, and don't forget to enable the notifications. Thanks for watching.